Good evening, and thank you for taking the time to watch this introductory presentation. My name is Mr Rossiter, and I am one of the Deputy Head Teachers here at King's. And part of my role is to assist with the options process. Hopefully, most of you will also find time to look at the options booklet, which can be accessed from the link on the school comms we have sent, as well as on the school website. So what does the Key Stage 4 curriculum look like? The core curriculum, which all pupils continue to study, includes English, Maths, Science, PE, Tutor Time and an Assembly. These subjects take 15 out of the 25 periods available per week. This leaves 10 periods for options. Our aim throughout the options process is to give pupils access to curriculum choices that are appropriate for them. To do this, pupils follow one of three possible pathways. English bands X or Y, one and two, additional pathway. English bands X or Y, sets three and four, core pathway. English sets X or Y, sets six, foundation pathway. I do want to stress that the pathways are not there to segregate, but to guide pupils towards courses that they can succeed in. There is also lots of crossover choices in each pathway. I'd like to give you a brief overview of the three pathways. In the additional pathway, all pupils continue with their foreign language. We think this is essential, partly because lack of a foreign language at GCSE can limit entry to some universities, but also because of the global economy and job market which in which we operate and within which we want our students to thrive. This gives pupils in the additional pathway three other choices from a wide range of GCSEs. In the core pathway, pupils also make four choices from a large selection of GCSEs. We would strongly recommend that pupils in this pathway continue with their foreign language for the reasons already outlined. In the foundation pathway, pupils also have access to a wide range of courses. Additionally though, some pupils following this pathway will have the opportunity to spend a day per week studying a level one course at Peter Simmons or Sparshelp College. To be considered for a college course, pupils need to have good records for both attendance and behaviour. If accepted on a college course, this replaces subjects chosen in blocks one and two. We do offer a small number of OCR national qualifications and these are available in all three pathways. Please look at the headings in the booklet which will denote the qualification studied. If your son or daughter is keen to study the three sciences as separate GCSEs, they will need to opt for separate science in either block one or block four of the options form. This will give them an average of six and a half lessons per week over the two years studying the three sciences. I'm sure you've heard of the English Baccalaureate, which is intended to encourage the study of a balanced academic curriculum. The five EBAC subjects are English, Maths, Science, Humanities, Geography or History, and a foreign language, ancient or modern. We support this by helping guide our pupils towards selecting options which meet these requirements. My general advice would be to avoid being too career focused at this stage. It is best to aim for broad and balanced rather than narrow and specialised. Please also check that your child is not making choices based upon a favourite teacher or being overly influenced by what their friends choose. Remind them that they may end up with a different teacher and in a different group from their friends. Option forms have been issued digitally this year and can be accessed from the link in the school comms sent on the 1st of February. Completed option forms are due to be submitted by Thursday 16th of March. Please reassure your child that this is not a race. Forms completed tomorrow will not have a better chance of securing places on popular courses. However, on the other hand, if forms are handed in late, it may make getting first choices less likely. So what happens next? When all of the option requests are in, first choices are collated, which takes a little time. We then do our very best to give as many pupils as possible their first choices, but I'm afraid that this cannot be absolutely guaranteed. If a first choice is not available, I will meet with pupils individually to discuss alternatives, look at their reserve subjects, and to decide together upon the best compromise possible. If there is a problem, let us know and we'll try to help. Good luck. Thank you.